In this video, I want to show you how to make unlimited custom fields in Webflow. That's right. This is not a joke. This is how I do it. Now, if you're on a standard plan in Webflow, you can have 30 custom fields. That's these guys down here. And if you're on the business plan, you can have 60. But if you're a freak like me, you need more. And I'll show you how to do this. So, um, the, scenario I, the scenario I'm working with is that I've got this like a matching thing that I'm trying to make. So I've, I've got a bunch of different things like companies that need matching. And so you've got like a photo and a link and a description and it, that kind of just like grows exponentially, right? So I need more custom fields. So um, what I'm doing right here is to do this, we need a custom text field, and this is going to contain all of our additional custom fields. Okay, so I've got this right here. So then I'm going to go into my uh, uh, collection right here, and I see these extra fields. Now, what we're going to put in here is we're going to put in JSON. Okay, if you're not familiar with JSON, it's it's just a data format for JavaScript that allows you to have these key value pairs. You can look it up, and what you're going to do is just like inside these things, inside these little uh, you know quote mark thingies, um, you're going to put all of your custom field things. So I have a color category and I have a food category, and I've put these into one of all, all this du dummy data right here. Okay. So now I and you can just think about you can have like a million of these and it doesn't matter. OK, now, once we do that, we're going to have to have some JavaScript to take these and then turn them into like usable things in our collection. So here, you know, we just um, got a form thing because I'm going to use this for filtering using uh, using FinSuite's amazing CMS filter right here. That's the sort of use case for me. Um, and then I've got my collection, you know, that's just hooked up to that collection I was looking at. And then here, I'm not using this for filtering. I'm just using this to display so we can see that this is actually like working, right? Um, okay, so uh, so I've got these all right here and that's it. And I've got just a basic um, uh, fin suite filtering setup right here. You can look in there. The documentation is great. It'll take you 10 minutes to set up. Okay. So that's great. So let's like look at this code that we're going to use to get this all working. So I come down here and um, looks a little bit complicated, but I'll walk you through every step and this should be pretty, pretty easy. Okay. So normally um, um, what we're going to do for it for the, now you don't have to use FinSuite's filter for this, right? You can use, um, if you want to like, so I'm just using this for filtering, but if you want to use this for display, you can just do that. And then you can just ignore um, this stuff that I'm uh, uh, doing for the FinSuite stuff. And what you would do is you would just take this code from here, this uh, query selector all, all the way down to this right here. Wait, no, not not that right there. All the way down to uh, like this attributes for each, this for each thing. So yeah, okay, so all the way down here. Zook, just do this if you're not interested in uh, using it for filtering and you're just using it for displaying data, just get this, okay. But I'm going to show you how to do this with the uh, FinSuite stuff. So um, with FinSuite, uh, you have to like uh, load the script um, uh, that, that contains the library, but that has to come after all like the attributes that's like filtering on, like all the data is there on the page, right? So we actually have to delay loading the script because if we loaded it before, it would be looking for like all the data to be filtering on and it wouldn't exist yet because we're programmatically adding it. That's like we're writing the code to add this because we have to take the data from that CMS collection, each of those items, and then dump them in as like data attributes and stuff we'll go over for a second. Okay, so that's what's going on. So what we're doing here is we're listening for the DOM content loaded. So that's when all of like the DOM nodes, like your paragraphs and stuff like that is loaded. And once that's all loaded, we're running this function. And that's, this function runs from here all the way to the end of our thing right here. What we're doing is we're grabbing everything that has uh, a data uh, class select uh, attached to it. And I'll show you what that is. So here's my like little page. 
and here's my items right here. And I think if I go up, let's see here, where did I put it or down? There we go. Okay, so let me just show you my, so I've got my collection item and then I've got my, um, my data thing right here, which is, let me show this to you. Let me show this to you right here. Oh, that's, I gotta, <laughs> I'm gonna stop my recording. Okay. Um, so if I show this to you, if I unhide this, just give this to block, that's all that dirty data right there, okay? So that's that JSON that we put in because that has to be on the page, but we don't have to see it. And that's one of the great things about um, the, the FinSuite um, uh, filter is that um, you don't have to see it to be able to filter on it. So we're hiding this, but that's what we're grabbing, okay? So we're grabbing our JSON right there. So we're gonna keep that hidden. All right, let's get back into our code right here. So we're grabbing that data and we're looping through each one of those. So you can think about it as like we're looping through each CMS item right now. Of course, we're looping through something inside of there, but each one has one of those extra things. And then we're saying we're taking the text content. L is just the element, right? So that would be like the first JSON thing, the first JSON thing. And um, and we're saying we we'll grab the text content. Okay, well it's not the JSON thing; it's the uh, it's the DOM element, right? So I think I just dumped like a paragraph in there. But you could do anything, you know, like a div, whatever. Um, and but you don't want to do something that's like important, like H one or something like that. Um, so I uh, so I grabbed it, and then I grabbed the text content. So that's literally the JSON. That's the stuff we put in in the each CMS item, the curly bracket stuff like that. And we're parsing it. We have to parse it because we have to turn it into JSON so that we can like do stuff to it programmatically. Because right now it's just a string, so there's no, there's, it, it doesn't uh, JavaScript doesn't understand it at all. Okay, so we're going through each item. We're grabbing the text content. We're dumping it into this variable, and then we're gonna loop through our JSON object. Right, so if you think about it, what we've got right now in our JSON object, just so we can like see this, right? So we've got like a food thing, okay? And that's like pizza. And then our next thing is like color. I think it was backwards, but whatever, okay? And then we've got our color. So we're like red, all right? And that's the end of our beautiful JSON object. Okay, so what we're doing is we're grabbing this, we're saying, hey, this is JSON, so treat it like it, cool. Then we're just doing a, a, a for in loop. So we're just going through this one of these things. So this has two things in it, two um, key value pairs. So this, this loop is gonna run twice. If you have 60 items, because you want 60 additional custom fields, then it will go through 60 times, right? So um, we're, we're looping through each one of these. This is just a simple a for in loop. And we're saying, hey, I, we're gonna grab the value because we're gonna wanna reference the, the key and the value, okay? So we're setting the value to um, the, the, the element uh, key. So the element would be this, and this would be, uh, we say grab th this thing, okay, awesome. So we got it. Then we're going into our uh, thing we're looping through, and we're saying, set the data set property because this is a uh, key to its value okay so we're setting um th these are this is how you set uh, uh data attributes um and that's like when you go into uh here and you go and set uh custom attributes down there that's what we're doing that's what they these data attributes okay and so we're setting uh, the key value pairs to um, you know the stuff in our object. Then we're creating a paragraph because essentially what we have to do is we have to create DOM elements, right? Paragraphs that uh, contain this like dynamic data from our JSON object, right? So we're creating a paragraph. We're setting the the, the attribute of a CMS filter field to key. So this would be what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, we're creating the different like filtering groups. Now this part is, um, this is just for the FinSuite stuff, right? So um, this is just how you do the setup. This is, this is how it's gonna know like what filter category it's in. So this one would be like food, right? So we're gonna CMS filter food. I'm setting the display to none because I don't wanna see it because I'm just using this for filtering. 
and then I'm setting the text content to uh, pizza right here. Okay, so then, and then I'm just going to append the child, append this as a child inside my object. And so we're going to, we're doing this and we're just adding all of this data properly um, into our creating paragraphs and adding uh, the data attributes with the stuff from our CMS, CMS collection. Um, and we're and then we're adding that paragraph into into the page each uh, into our element. And remember, this L is just our um, you know th those d those data things. And I'm just like, hey, append it as a child. And you could append this anywhere, right? So you could go up like a parent, down a parent. It just kind of has to be in your um, each each one of those CMS list items. Okay, so um, now we've looped through all of that stuff. And then we are going to uh, just add in, load our script, our um, our our fin suite attribute CMS filter thingy, right? And so all I'm doing is this is just a CDN, and I'm just making a string, and I'm uh, creating an, a script tag and dumping that into an attribute, and then I'm grabbing my, so I've got my attribute, I'm setting the text type to JavaScript, I'm setting the source attribute to file, this is just basic stuff for like adding a script tag, and then I'm going into my document, into my head, I'm appending a child, that is dumping a child into it, and it's that um, thing we've just made. So then, so once the, once the DOM is loaded, right, we're gonna do all this funny business about creating our our uh, our DOM elements inside our collection list using the data that's there, and then we're gonna load our uh, FinSuite library because then it's got all the stuff, and the FinSuite library is gonna be like, okay, cool. So I see all your stuff now. You're beautiful. Um, um, CMS stuff, and and we can work with it. Okay, so. Now we've got this. I've already published it, so let's just go over here, and you can see that we've got green, and it's going to filter that. And we've got taco, and we've got that right there. And I'll show you in a, in, in the collection here. So you can't see that because we've hidden it, right? So we're going in here, and let's see, is it red where our taco is? Yeah. So we got our food taco and our red thing. We got pizza and we got burger. So it's only in our red one, and the only way this is coming through is because of our code. So, um, uh, so that's how you use it. Now, of course, if you wanted to, um, and I can make a separate video if you're interested in this, if you, if it's confusing, if if you just want to use these for simple display purposes, the code becomes um, way easier, right? Because all you have to do, let's come in here for a second. Oh wait, we're in here, and our filter test because what we're going to do is uh, you, you're just going to grab the same thing you're going to grab e each of your elements you're going to loop through them you're just going to create them but you don't need to add um, attributes so you you wouldn't need this and if you want to display it then you don't have to add that and then you just uh, you will add in the text content and then you just append it wherever you want to append it, right? So it makes these things uh, a lot easier. All right, I hope that helps. I know this is probably a niche thing, but uh, let me know if you have any questions with this.